Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Well, today we are continuing on with our local business slash entrepreneur series. And I have another one of my favorite local entrepreneurs on with me here, Jordan Quick. Welcome, Jordan. Thank you, Tracy. So happy to have you on. Thank you for Um, having me. Thank you. So, Jordan, you are a local business owner. Um, You are the owner and operator, I guess, if you will, (laughs) of Quicken Massage. I have a lot of titles. Um, Yeah, a lot of different titles. A lot of different titles. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, the title that I have, the way I have you in my phone is Body Mechanic, right? True. (laughs) So, like, when something- Please fix me. Yeah, please fix me. I did this to my shoulder (laughs) or this to my ankle or what- what are the things over the years that uh, I think so many <laughs> people broken. are like, I think so many people are like, hey, can you just fix this? And yeah. I'm like, hey, let's just start with let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what we're working with uh, here. So 100 <laughs> percent. So. You, so, yeah, a lot of times people think massage. Right. And they think like, ooh, you know, like, go, oh, oh, how nice and relaxing and stuff. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> not what the that's not what this is you, you haven't know, met jordan yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah yeah you have not seen jordan that is for sure no there might be a little a little discomfort at times but i always leave feeling better than when i you know when i came in so I'll take that. yeah always always the, the negative thoughts Sometimes. towards me are in between the massage and then right. afterwards okay right. thank you yeah that is just that's like okay thank thank you jordan yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah so Tell, so how many years has it been now? Because, I, I mean, I think I've known you for, it's been over 10 years. I have been doing massage. It's kind of funny that you asked. Yeah. Because just about a month ago, I was like, how long have I been doing this? Yeah. Um, 11 years. 11 years. Okay. So, yeah. So I was right. And and I know, like, like I met you, like, kind of when you first were getting started. Yes. Right? Yeah. So and That was it, pretty awful. So, no, you weren't awful, but like that was like at the beginning because you were just kind of getting into it and trying something new. 100%. And, um, but then, you know, and you you started off, you, you weren't working for yourself at the time. You were working for a company and um, that's yeah. that's where you started off. But um, but you kind of started, to, you, you became friends with another massage therapist who kind of, who did what you do now as well, yeah. who was more of a okay, let's, let's fix your body. Like there's something wrong. Like yeah. this, you know, we're not going to just sit here and lightly, you know, massage, which I will say I've had, not by you, but I've had some of those massages in the past. And I actually think I feel worse yeah. when I leave than when I go through the torture that you put me through. But well, I, I feel <laughs> yeah. like sometimes when you're an athlete and yeah. you get relaxation, it brings up things that you, like unless they get taken care of, yeah. like it exacerbates the issue. Yeah. Like it feels good for a second, and then you're like, so why did I do that? Right, <laughs> right, right, because I've left those going, okay, this is, like, really irritating. Like, yeah. I just don't, I, it doesn't, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, get in and really, like, fix what is wrong. 100%. Then, yeah. yeah, so, okay, so, yeah, so 11 years, and, um, I mean, over that time, like you said, I mean, like, anybody who's starting off in something new, right, yeah. I mean, obviously, you're not an expert at that time, but you were still very good at what you did. And you started well, I'm glad to, you think so. Yeah, no, I, I do. The like, exact but, opposite. You know, but at the same time, too, remember, I, uh, you know, I was going and getting those awful, you know, <laughs> that right, I'll like give you left. That. Okay, so there we go. So that was my starting point, too. Mm-hmm. So, um, so over the years, you've really kind of like honed in yeah. on your skills. And I mean, one of the things that I, I know from my own personal experience is that you will actually do research, yes. right? So I come to you with a different issue, my shoulder, my back, like different things. And you will actually do all of the research because you really understand the way the body works, yeah. you know, and how everything moves together. And so you'll do the research to make sure that you're coming up with a solution that will actually help resolve the issue or alleviate yeah. the problem. And, um, and I think that's why you've been so successful over the, <laughs> over the years, you know, and and really have developed that reputation that, you know, if you really need something done or you need somebody to get to the root of something, Jordan is your guy. You may not like him going <laughs> you through it. You may that. not like him. 
come and I'd be like, who is this guy? He will figure out the issue. (laughs) Yes, yes. (laughs) I would agree. Yeah. And and yeah, and that is something too, right? Like, I mean, we just talked about it, but like a lot of people think massage and they think, oh, you know, but but no, I mean, if if you're really, you know, trying to fix something, there there's some pain. There's some pain involved. A hundred percent. Yeah. And I think a lot of that like kind of started. When I first came up, people didn't really take massage kind of serious. Yeah. And then I think what made it kind of start to happen where the serious night kind of came in is I can't remember if it was the 2016 Olympics where they had Michael Phelps on. Mm -hmm. And um, when they had him, like they were showing like he had all of these like it looked like suction cup marks and everyone was like. Did an octopus make love to him? Like, <laughs> like what what's happened? going what's on? What's going yeah. on? And then everyone was like, what is that? And then everyone was like, oh, he's getting cupping. And from there, everyone was like, wait a second. Can do, massage do more than just relax you? Yeah. And that's kind of where the last, probably since 2016 going on, people have started to take it more seriously now than it used to be. When, like, when right. I first came in, people would be like, eh, I can get a massage. Right, right. Well, yeah. And so that's so when I when I first met you, I had just I I was never one except for maybe once a year on my birthday Mm -hmm. would get a massage. And it was supposed to be like the treat, you know, go relax, get a massage. But it was never anything that I was like, oh, okay, you know, but once, you know, because I played basketball for a lot of years and several injuries that came <laughs> from that and then uh another fun one was when i you know the rowing that we had yes. for dragon on the lake and the rowboat and yeah definitely that was a that was a a, a weird injury yeah that was that was it was a doozy though it that was... one did not go away for a long no. time no that one took a lot of work and a lot of research on your 100%. part percent. yes yes but it did go away and i mean look at me now agreed <laughs> So, so yeah, so, um, so yeah, I, I would agree. Like I was, I was one of those people mm-hmm. that, um, you know, looked at it as just like a, you know, it wasn't a necessity. It was a luxury, yeah. if you will, something that, you know, you went to do, but I definitely view it very differently now. Um, it's definitely a, a component in maintaining a healthy body, mm-hmm. you know, making sure that because if, if you let something go, right, if something's not in the right place or things are not moving the way that it's supposed to, it, you're only going to continue to have other issues yes. pop up. So, you know, if you go and fix the problem, right, yeah. it's just like something in your house. Yeah. Right. If something is like if your toilet is running or something, well, you know, it can lead to other issues, but your water bill is going to go way up. And you know, so you want to make sure you're taking care of things and your body. I mean, we only get the one. Yep. So even though, you know, later in life, some of us get some, you know, different parts put in 100%. for knees and hips. But but still, we want to preserve what we have and have it function optimally yeah. as long as possible. So when I think that's kind of like I was just telling somebody that's kind of going to be my 2024 is not only helping people kind of fix but then trying to figure out root causes so that these don't keep coming back up. Yeah. Because, because I think a lot of people like will sometimes get into that like, okay, you can fix it. And it's like, okay, I can fix it. Yeah. <laughs> but eventually I won't be able to fix it. Right, right. Um, I had a lady long, long time ago. Um, she was doing like water skiing and she was like going like three, four times a day, like not a day, three to four times a week. Mm-hmm. And she was just, Every time I saw her, it was getting worse and worse. And she's like, oh, man, I'm so glad you're here that you can fix all of this. And I kept telling her, I'm like, hey, you need to chill out. Stop breaking it. Stop breaking this. And she's like, why? You'll you'll just fix it. And I'm like, I get it. But eventually your body's going to revolt and it's not going to like you. Well, sure enough, I didn't see her for like eight months. I was like, is it something I said? I didn't realize the truth was going to hurt. Um but then she came back and I was like, oh, my gosh, I haven't seen you in like eight months. What happened? And she's yeah. like, I tore both my rotator cuffs. Uh, and I, I'll be honest with you. I can't imagine what the rehab would be to try and like if you have one arm that's yeah. debilitated. Yeah. It's pretty easy to like rely on the other one while the other one heals. Yeah. I can't imagine if you tear both of them. No. What you do in that process. How do you eat? Like, like 
like, you know, that's the first thing we're both thinking. Like, 100%. very important. Like, yes. how do you eat? How do you eat? <laughs> how do you wipe your butt? How do you do anything? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, how do you pull your pants up? Yeah. Put your clothes on? Like, uh, anything. Yeah. Or even as simple as, yeah. hey, how am I going to open this door? Right, right. Yeah. Well, and I will say, so from my own experience, when I broke one ankle and sprained the other, um, you know, not really being mobile in that way. Like I had my arms, but I couldn't get from one place to the other. Oh, I remember that. Uh, yeah, that was ooh, fun times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's it it really is very frustrating and very um, it's hard, especially for somebody who's so independent and yeah. used to being independent to being so dependent now on other people yeah. to help with just those basic basic things so yeah. yeah so yeah so so your goal this year then is to to do even more research yep. and try to help diagnose and you know um you know help somebody kind of take a look at maybe what they're doing to if if issues continue to pop up maybe yep. what is causing that and what what can we do a little bit differently so. i would i would 100 percent agree yeah, with that yeah <laughs> and i think it's because like everyone like always wants to be able to be feeling better yeah. But sometimes if you have an issue that's lingering, that hasn't been taken care of, it doesn't matter how many times you fix it. It's going to keep coming back. Right. Or if you have an imbalance going on, somewhere along the line, you may get rid of the one issue. But like you were saying earlier, you're going to start developing a different issue. Right. And this is just something when, like, when I was younger, I used to just be all about fixing it. Yeah. Um, because that's all I knew. Yeah. But as my knowledge has kind of grown, like, you not just learn how to fix things. You have to learn how to be able to tell people, like, hey, yeah, we could do this dance the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> but if you want to feel better and you want to be better, yeah. there's got to be a commitment. Right. And, right. like, you might have to do this, like, ugly word no one likes to hear. Do a little homework. <laughs> I always right. tell people that, like, oh, you might have to do some homework. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do homework. Oh, who likes homework? No, Come on, no Jordan. One likes, I know. <laughs> like, I know. I didn't like yeah, homework. Yeah. Yeah. But now I'm right? doing it. You're doing it. Yeah. Well, you're doing it because it's fueling a passion. And you also, um, you're somebody who really cares about others. And I do. you do care about, you know, healing, helping to heal them yeah. um, in the way that you can. So, um, yeah. And, and really, it's like with any problem, right? You have to get to the root of what's causing it. Yeah. So, and a lot of times, like you said, people just want that the easy way. I, I, I might be in that category sometimes. I'm terrible at homework, but, <laughs> but, but sometimes, you know, yeah. I, you know, you can hear and say, oh, okay, I can I, do that. I do have to though, <laughs> give a little uh, credit though. When I first started off like uh, at a, a, a chain, um, when I started, like you come in from like the school, like I came from Flint School of Therapeutic Massage. It was a great school. But, like, when I got into it, it didn't give me the perspective of what I needed, mm -hmm. like, getting into it. Like, you, you get this confidence when you come out, like, you're great. Yeah. But you haven't experienced the amount. And then you haven't, like, it's like any kind of, like, on the job kind of a thing. Yeah. Where you think you know what you're doing until you're actually on the job. Right. And then you're like, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> right. And right. that was pretty much me for, I would probably say almost a year. And I remember probably about, yeah, probably about a year into it, I was looking around and I'm like, I don't know what I'm really doing. <laughs> like, I, I know how to get around and do massage, but like, I don't know what I'm doing to actually take right. it a step further. Right. So I remember being in a massage, um, and I'll use his name, John. Mm -hmm. And I remember being in a couple's massage with him. And I remember looking over and his massage. You two were doing the massages. What? <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I actually sorry. was a little more jealous of his massage <laughs> because I'm looking over and I'm like, he's amazing. <laughs> he's unbelievable. <laughs> and I just remember when I was doing that, yeah. I was like, okay, maybe when I go, like if I go and ask him, like maybe he'll like, m like shoot me down nicely. Maybe yeah. he'll do this. And so I'm like, you know, we get into the break room and I'm like, Hey John, do you, I have a question for you. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, shoot. And I'm like, do you mind if I, like, I don't know, just shadow you one day or something like that? And I'll never forget it. It was the best, best story ever. Um, he was like, no, I got one better for you. He was <laughs> like, I'm going to teach you. And I'm like, okay, well, 
like I can tell that you're light years ahead of yeah. where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do I owe you? Yeah. And it was the most hilarious thing that I owed him. I owed him Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay, well, there you go. I was like, hey. <laughs> wings, if... wings it is. And then when I found out how much his education was worth, I Buffalo Wild Wings was beyond. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was the easiest trade ever. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it that way. Yeah, um, yeah. So yep. I'll, I'll be forever indebted because he, he set me on the path because he taught me as a massage therapist, especially being um, a man that you can't go into it. You got to be able to bring it. Yeah. Um, and I'll never forget that because once that got instilled, it's the reason why, like, I always do a lot of research and I keep it up because yeah. that's the one mentality he always said is you got to come in and you got to you got to bring it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and with that, it kind of set that like foundation of like, I always got to take it a step further. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And you two developed a friendship. You know, yeah. I, I remember John and yeah. So you guys had a nice uh a, a nice friendship there too over the and still do right over yeah. the over the years. So, yeah, yeah. And so That's yeah, nice. I always have to give him a little bit of a shout because yeah, where I was going in massage, I don't think I would have gotten there yeah. without him. Kind of like yeah, maybe I would have gotten there eventually. Yeah, but it would have taken much longer than what he did. Right, right. Like I still remember the days where I'd come into the room and he would do, um, oh, what was the game he called it? It was. Basically, figure out the massage. So I had to figure okay. out the attachment point. I had to figure out its indication. I had to figure out basically where it connected. Yeah. And I had to define all of that. And so, like, every single day I'd come in, he'd be like, what's that muscle? <laughs> and I'd be name like. Name that yeah. muscle, right? And, like, just, like, name that tune. Yeah, name, name that, that tune. <laughs> name that muscle. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't make these up. <laughs> but then, as time went on, it made more sense. Because in the beginning, I asked him, I'm like, why do I have to know all this? Yeah. And then once that happened, I was like, oh, that's why you wanted me to know that muscle. Mm -hmm. Because then yeah. without thinking about it, I already knew what that muscle did, how it moved, how far it could go, what it, what the muscle can and can't do. Yep. And without that, I don't think I would have been able to be where I'm at. Yeah. So, so what you're saying then is I should thank John for all the hours of torture over the years. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally blame like, John. Yeah, let me like right under here, oh, like the, uh, the arm provide pit? some uh, excruciating pain because of something somewhere else. <laughs> the armpit by uh, far oh, is the worst. It is. It really is. Like IT band might be on a second. Yeah, that one's not fun either. No. I, I think we've done just about every injury. Yeah, playing yeah. sports and. <laughs> I feel like when you play sports, yeah. you get some of the injuries you wouldn't think you're gonna. Get. Right. Yeah. Yep, you use muscles in a way that you just, yeah, wouldn't normally. <laughs> no, agree. Like, I would, I remember when I was doing uh, bodybuilding, I remember, yeah, bodybuilding and massage is never a great combo. Um, <laughs> never try it at home. Yeah, yeah, day. well, yeah, I, I mean, I, I know, I remember when you did that, but I don't understand, you know, like, because I know, like, you get to the end towards those competitions and stuff, and you basically are on, like, minimal like calories the worst and the worst thing ever <laughs> it's like oh my gosh how do, how do you function i don't think i'd even be able to walk around let alone you know give deep tissue massages <laughs> i don't know how i did it either yeah <laughs> in fact i remember one of my clients uh he was really gracious he uh when i got done he was like are you done with those contests and i'm like yeah and i'm like why do you ask he's like well, your massage has started to slack. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, but I was giving you a break because I could tell you weren't eating any food. And you I was were, like, you yeah. weren't eating. <laughs> and, and those of us who've known you for many years, you know, that well, that's something you and I share is a love of food. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we, we can spend. Like, I, it's, it's good because you can distract me sometimes from the pain and torture that I'm going through by talking, that is about, my objective. Uh, by talking about food. I'll be like, hey, look over here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm joking around. I mean, there there is some, there is definitely some pain involved, but it's all again, you know, a means to an end. It's to because it's because I've done something to my body that needs that needs repair, that yep. needs fixing, and um and you you know how to do that. So when I feel like as time has gone on, my massage has gotten probably a little more sophisticated. Yeah, where I don't. I use a lot more tools and accessibility. Yeah. Um, because I know a little bit more now. Yeah. Um, where it's not, and 
as I'm getting older, I know no one ever likes to hear that, <laughs> but in massage world, I'm already, how do I say it? The lifespan for massage is very, very like mild where yeah. like, it's kind of like football, right? Yeah. It's like being a football player. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's very hard on your body. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Most, most massage therapists maybe only last between, um, uh, if you're, Deep tissue between three to five years, and your wow. regular massage is between five to eight. Okay. So I've already, Sorry. I've already three years at like <laughs> past over, retirement. Pa- past retirement. <laughs> so what do you attribute that to? Um, getting smarter. Yeah. Um, you kind of have to. Yeah. Because you start to get. What was the injury that? I, oh, when I tore my labrum, I think it was either seventeen or eighteen. Mm-hmm. I remember. The, the doctor said that, like, if he did the surgery, I was going to have to have, like, eight or nine months off. Okay. And for me, that sounded like absolute torture. Yeah. Yeah. And he only said it's that long because of what you do. He's like, if you were anybody else, it'd be, like, three months. Oh. It's like, but your field requires you to, at times, be really soft and then at times be really aggressive. Yeah. And then at times you have to put a lot more than most. Yeah. And he's like, if that's the case, you basically have to be able to go through those ranges. And I was like, well, I can't be off that long. Yeah. So that's when I started to slowly start incorporate different things. Mm-hmm. Um, and then as time has gone on, it's I was really resistant to them in the beginning because I always thought they were like a luxury tool, like hot stones. Yeah. Um, I always thought like, oh, that's what you go for relaxation. For. Yeah. Like, oh, it'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I didn't realize probably until like actually this year, um, I stepped into that realm mm-hmm. and basically started using a lot more like hot stones. Yeah. Um, and then using actually even like hot towels. Yeah. Um, which actually makes it a little easier, not necessarily for what's it called? Like a deep tissue, Mm -hmm. but like calming the mind down. Yeah. So that as you're going through certain things, like the muscles kind of let go easier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because of the heat and the, the sensation, like, yeah, Yeah. that is nice. It makes it easier to manipulate the muscle then. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's one thing we said, you started off years and years ago at, at a chain, but it wasn't very long before you actually evolved and you've actually had your own business and yeah. you've been on your own for a number of years. I'll be um, honest though. I'd never wanted to leave the chain. Yeah. No, really? no, oh. I never wanted to. Um, oh. So it just, it was one of those things, right? That just, uh, it did. It that just happened. But you know what? It probably was meant to be yeah. because look at, you know, look at what you've built yes. over, over all these years. So, oh, wait, don't get me wrong. I, I love that. I was able to go from that to this. Yeah. Um, but when, if you look back, like we had such a good group of people at yeah. that at that it, massage branch, it was yeah. Um, but just certain other aspects kind of led it to where a lot of us had to make the decision to go. Right. Yeah. Um, so it was it was kind and of that's that. hard. Change is never easy, right? No. And then especially when you have like your work family, and you know it's that's always the hardest. Kind of being broken up, like yeah. It's not fun to break up a family. No, so. you're like, you're breaking yeah, up my no. family. Right? Yeah. You're taking away my family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it's, you know, it's led you to this point. And, and like you said, now you've gotten, you know, smarter and you've learned some other, you know, methods yep. that where you can still provide the same level of yep. care. Um, but, you know, like you had a mentor. Do you ever see yourself maybe mentoring someone else into the business? Oh, yes. Down yeah. the road, my my plan is to have someone come in with me. Okay. Um, maybe eventually they'll take on some of my clients and okay. they'll basically get to a point where I can then start thinking about opening up my either my own school yeah. or my own tutelage. That's kind of my okay. idea and my thought process. Okay. Eventually to kind of be yeah. able to step that bounds because I want to be able to teach people kind of like the more practical way when you come into massage, like yeah. not just your, your standard but also the expectation of what you're going to get into it. Yeah. Because when I got into it, it was a really, really like culture shock. Yeah. Because like yeah. we we thought everything when I was in school was amazing. And yeah. School for massage <laughs> was awesome. Yeah. But when you get into it, you're like, 
oh my gosh, I don't really know a whole lot. <laughs> you know, I, I think that's like, I mean, because really there's, you know, new realtors, they go and get their real estate license and they go through the school to yeah. pass the exam and stuff. And, and then they, you know, get to a brokerage and they're like, I don't know how to do the job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you really don't, right? The school. And will, you probably got to look at them and go, information. let me help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have been a mentor in, <laughs> in the past to new agents. And yeah, because there's there's a lot that you need to learn about the business. And I can't um, and I can't even imagine what you had to kind of go through like in the last couple of years. Like there's so many. Uh, yeah, this the last few years really. Yeah, my industry. We, that that's a whole nother podcast. <laughs> but but yeah, it's definitely changed a lot in the in the last few years from what it's been because I've been in and around real estate for. Ooh, I don't even want to say how long because then it'll definitely age me. But <laughs> but but for a very long time, and it's definitely changed. And um, I mean, it, everything's always changing. Yeah. But these last few years have really been different than. Than anything else so i but, well uh, and i agree with you like, yeah yeah even massage has changed a little bit. yeah yeah which uh, everything's gonna grow and evolve and change but but it's good to know so you know if anybody watching this podcast has ever thought you know i want to help people i want to you know that might be something i'd be interested in you know they should probably reach out to you and uh mm -hmm. and chat a little bit more yeah so yeah if, if nothing else for for a good conversation and some guidance because I know that uh, you can provide that. Yes, so. I can. I can talk. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. We both can. Our, this podcast probably ran way long, but <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay because we're having fun. So. I'm like, I can't tell the time. Yeah, I know. I'll just keep talking. Yeah, I know. I can see the time. And yeah, we're, we're over what I normally do, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. If you are still with us. <laughs> yeah. Like if you haven't fallen asleep yet. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they could fall asleep, but, <laughs> but, uh, well, Jordan, thank you so much for, for coming on and, and sharing a little bit about what you do. And, um, I would encourage, you know, anybody who, um, you know, if you have any issues or you, you know, you, you need to, uh, if you need a body mechanic, then, <laughs> then Jordan is definitely your man. So I appreciate yeah, that. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so I appreciate you coming on and I appreciate for what you've done for not just me, but so many others over the years. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, the, this year is going to be another awesome year for you and your business. I thank you. I want to just give one shout out because yeah. by the time I, this runs, yeah. um, Oxford will have set up its very first powerlifting meet. Oh, uh, awesome. And it's going to have over 500 athletes from 15 different school districts, wow. um, 10 different platforms. Yeah. Um, and I think what's cool is that it's it's a program that was kind of like they didn't really want to support it. And one of the coaches came up and said, no, I'm going to make it happen. Yeah. Even without the school support. So probably at the after probably after this the school is going to catch up and get on board yeah yeah but what's cool awesome. is that no matter what they're, they're doing this event yeah and they're keeping it going and it's going to be oxford's very first power oh uh, that's awesome i mean you know what because different activities for different different students different individuals yes. and there definitely is a whole population of kids that that's you know that's going to be perfect for them yeah so, and, and why yeah. not give another like you said another yeah. outlet yes for kids yep. rather than just like you know everything like with football yeah you know volleyball and, all and, that. and kind of on topic with what we've talked about you know do it in a way that they can learn how to do it properly so yes. that they're not creating injuries that could take them through their adulthood yep. so I see. Yeah. I like where you so, went with that. Yeah. See. Look at that. I like. There we okay. go. <laughs> All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, so well. Thank you again, Jordan, for joining me. Thank you, Tracy. Always great to see you. <laughs> Always great to chat with you. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Chat. Yes. Yes. Because sometimes I, I don't enjoy seeing you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. How rude. Just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> But thank you again. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you all for tuning in to Tea with Tracy. We'll see you next time. <laughs>